Hello there and welcome to Maths A Level, Lower 6 and we're working on practice paper at the moment. We're on question 2. So question 2 is find an equation of a straight line passing through the coordinates 4, minus 7 and minus 6, 11 giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, A, B, C in integers. Right, so the first thing I always do as soon as I've got any coordinates in my question is to draw myself out a little grid on the side and plot those coordinates so I can visualise what's going on. So the first coordinate is 4 minus 7, so that's going to be all the way down here, 4 minus 7. Try and make it as much to scale as possible, so I've gone down more than I have across, where possible this is. And if our uh, next coordinate is going to be minus 6, 11, so that's going to be right up here. OK, so what we want is the equation of the line that's going through this coordinate, these two coordinates, they're straight line. So first of all, I can obviously see negative gradient, but I need to work out how much. So the way I'm going to do that is by the classic formula that the gradient m is equal to the difference in y over the difference in x. So on the y coordinates, I've gone from 11 up here down to minus 7 here. So I've gone down by 18. If I'm going from this point to this coordinate. And on the x coordinates, I've gone from minus 6 to 4. So I've gone uh, to the right by 10. So my gradient here is going to be minus 9 over 5 if I simplify that fraction. So great, now what I can do is I can plug in this into y equals mx plus c. This is what all straight lines roughly look like. So uh, first of all, I need to plug in uh, an x value, a y value, and my gradient, and I can work out c from there. So I'll plug in the value minus 6, 11. So this minus 6 is going to be representing the x-coordinate. The 11 here is going to be representing the y-coordinate. And m I'm going to substitute in as minus 9 over 5. So uh, y is 11 minus 9 over 5 times 6, minus 6, sorry, add on c. Uh, so that would be 11. I'll just tidy up this side here. That would give me 30, uh, no, not 30, 54 over 5 plus C. Uh, as a fraction over 5, this is going to be 55 over 5. And then I'll take away 54 over 5 to get C. So C must be 1 fifth. So the equation of this line is going to be y equals minus 9 over 5x add a fifth. But if we remember in our question, it doesn't want it in y equals mx plus c form. It wants it in ax plus by plus c form, where a, b, and c are integers. Integers is another word for whole numbers. So if I times through by 5, I'm going to create whole numbers. I'll need to add my 9x to the other side, and I'm going to need to take away 1 onto the other side as well, uh, and that will give me a 0 here. So effectively, in this solution that I've got here, I've got a value of a of 9, b is my value 5, and c is my value minus 1. Okay. For part B, the line crosses the x-axis at point A, so this is point A here, and crosses the y-axis at point B, so this is the point B here. Find the area of the triangle OAB, so I want this tiny little area inside here. So if I want to work out the y-coordinate, a cheeky way of doing that is to plug in x equals 0, uh, so I'm working out b first here. So plug in x equals 0, I get 5y minus 1 equals 0. So on the b coordinate, y is going to equal a fifth. So this coordinate here is 0, a fifth. 
Uh, for the a coordinate, I'm just going to plug in the fact that y is equal to 0 at that point. So I'm going to get 9x minus 1 equals 0. So my x coordinate is going to be minus a ninth. I told you this area was going to be small. This coordinate here is 1 ninth, 0. So what we've got here now is a base times height divided by 2 situation. So area of a o b is going to be equal to half of the base, which is a ninth, times the height of the triangle, which is a fifth. So the total area of this triangle here is 1 90th units squared. Okay, that's six marks for that question.